Well, if you've ever asked yourself, what is a computer, then you've come to the right place. Despite the intimidating reputation, computers are quite simple when broken down. In this lesson, we'll be exploring what a computer is and how they work. Let's get started. So what is a computer? Simply put, a computer is an electronic device that processes data, stores information, and performs calculations at high speeds. It uses a combination of hardware, software, processors, and other components to carry out its tasks. The components that make up a computer. Computer components can be divided into two main categories, hardware and software. Hardware consists of physical items such as the monitor, keyboard, mouse, printer, hard drive, and so on, while software includes programs like Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop. The processor is the most important component in any computer because it effectively acts as its brain. It controls all the other components by processing instructions called programs that's written in code, known as machine code, and this tells the computer what to do. Without the processor, there would be no way for the computer to understand these instructions and therefore no way for it to do anything useful. The different types of computers. There are many different types of computers out there, including desktop computers, the kind that are found in homes and offices, laptops, which are portable version of desktop computers, tablets, which are smaller than laptops, and smartphones, which are mobile devices with touchscreens. Each type has its own unique features and capabilities. For example, laptops are usually more portable than desktops, but lack some of the power due to the smaller size. Takeaway. I hope after this lesson you have a better understanding of what a computer is and how it works. As you can see from this overview, there are many different types of computers available in today's market that suit different needs. Ultimately though, despite their intimidating reputation, computers are actually quite simple when broken down into the component parts, so don't be afraid to explore them further. In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at the global network of computers that we call the Internet.